Hey, how are you? Welcome to The Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane, and this is not your first time. Hey, I just want to say welcome back to The Coding Zoo. Glad to have you. In today's video, we're going to do something a little different. We're, going to, we're not going to have a lesson today, a programming lesson, but we're going to cover what I believe are some of the best books for software engineers, software programmers to read. Uh, I'd actually go so far as to recommend that every engineer should have at least read this material in some form or fashion uh, at one point in their career. Uh, now, especially if you are a self-taught programmer and you didn't get this in college, I'd highly recommend these books at some point in your career. Uh, if that interests you, hey, stick around. We're going to jump right in. Okay, so the book number one, the first book I would recommend is Algorithms, uh, the fourth edition. They're by Robert Sedgwick and Kevin Wayne. I hope I got their names correct. So this is a, a really great algorithms book. And if you didn't go to college or self-taught, you definitely need to read something like this. Uh, one of the things you need to understand as an engineer is what is uh, time and complexity of an algorithm uh, big O notation, understanding whether the trade-offs of speed versus how much memory is being used, all that good stuff. So you need to understand time and complexity, big O notation. You definitely need to learn some of the common algorithms that are used to solve common problems. So I would highly recommend that you read some beginning algorithm book, uh, data structures and algorithm book at some point. Uh, I highly recommend this one. There are others that are, whew, I mean, way out there, they're way over my head. Uh, you definitely need a, uh, more math and stuff to understand. This one's not so much. It's a really good read. I think it actually might be a, a college textbook. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but it's definitely at a level for that pretty much anybody can read and pick up, even if you're self-taught. Uh, it's, it's not bad at all. I highly recommend it. One of the second books I would recommend that you read at some point in your career is a book by Martin Fowler. It's called Patterns of Enterprise Application Architecture. So yes, this is a patterns book. Um, and a lot of people will start out with a very common patterns book called Gang of Four. It's definitely a good read, maybe a hard read for people who haven't attended college, uh, but definitely a good read. This one I would say is even better. Uh, this one kind of goes over far more patterns than in the Gang of Four patterns that you will see every day what, um, in your applications, whether you recognize them or not. So why do I feel like it's important to learn patterns? Well, one of the things that's always kind of bugged me in my career is that, you know, we have a terminology, we have a language of engineering, and there are certain terms that an engineer should be responsible for learning and knowing. It's just a way of communicating. To give you an example, let's say I was a doctor. Now, and there's a certain medical procedure I wanted to perform. The nurse is going to help me. And I'm fisting to tell her, hey, we're fisting to do procedure A, which is easier. Hey, nurse, let's do procedure A. That will solve our problem. Or would it be easier for me to describe procedure A in detail every time I need to say procedure A? It would be easier to know the name of procedure A, right? That's common sense. But you'll be surprised how many people look down on learning patterns. Well, why? Because there are a lot of people there that kind of just want to do patterns for the sake of doing patterns. I'm not recommending that. I'm recommending that as an engineer, you should know the terminology, the language of your field. You should know the different patterns out there and what problems they solve. They will help you communicate. They will also help you solve problems quicker because they've already been solved for you by using certain patterns. And if you know those patterns, you'll know, hey, this is the right tool for the right problem. So I highly recommend that you learn architecture patterns, whether they're application and enterprise patterns or whether they're integration messaging patterns, uh, whatever type of programming you're doing, I highly recommend that you dig deep into patterns and learn those, learn the terminology of our trade. So <clears throat> this particular book is written by Martin Fowler. I, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of Fowler. Uh, I think this particular book along was kind of a, real eye-opener. It kind of introduced me to certain things that I was doing every day throughout the years and just didn't 
know uh, what it was called. And it also introduced me to new ways of solving problems that I didn't or wasn't aware of, right? So um, one of the things I like about Fowler is he'll go over each of the patterns and he'll describe, hey, I think this is good in this scenario, but sometimes it's used for that and that may not be so good, but that's just my opinion. He's there, he's very unbiased. Now he will lean a little bit towards object-oriented programming more so than when it's needed, uh, but he actually will admit that in the book. So very well-balanced individual and explains things very well. And there are so many patterns in here that if you were aware of, you'll see often day to day. So highly recommend it. It's a pretty easy read, definitely worth the read. All right, so hey, book number three. Now, since we just mentioned Fowler, I'll go ahead and mention this book next. This is another book by Fowler. Um, it's called Refactoring, Improving the Design of Existing Code. Now, this is an excellent book. I still sometimes refer back to it. I'm actually going to go back and reread it to refresh my memory soon in the very near future. Uh, it, it goes over basically uh, common um, problems or smells you might see in your code and it introduces you know how you can refactor those problems uh, in a good way and it kind of it kind of reads like in a way a pattern book it will give a name of a particular problem and, and how you would go about refactoring your code to clean that code up so uh, really good book to learn about code smells to learn about writing good code and how to clean that code up Martin Fowler, Refactoring, Improving the Design of Existing Code. I'm actually going to turn around and probably reread. It's been a while, but I'm going to reread this probably in the next few weeks just to uh, refresh my memory and get those uh, kind of essentials of good coding back into my head. So sometimes you need to be reminded of that. So book number three, definitely a great read. Highly recommend it. All right, hey, so book number four, we just talked about uh, clean code and refactoring your code with book number three. Here's another good book that describes clean coding habits. Now this is called Clean Code, a Handbook of Agile Software Craftsmanship. It's written by Robert C. Martin, uh, otherwise known as Bob Martin or Uncle Bob. So Bob is very popular. Uh, he's written books on clean code. He's written books on uh, object-oriented programming on the solid principles uh, when it comes to object-oriented programming. Uh, if you're not familiar with the solid principles, that's again something else that you'll want to learn. And that's actually coming in another book I'm going to show you in a second. But <clears throat> Clean Code is a great book. Now it doesn't go over how to refactor your code to be clean. It does go over how you should write your code in the first place to be clean. It goes over, you know, objects, if you're in project oriented programming, how you can structure your classes, following principles like single responsibility. It goes over many different things as far as keeping your code clean, uh, how big should your classes be, how to write good tests, uh, formatting your code, commenting your code, bad comments, uh, goes over all types of information uh, on how to write clean code. It, I would almost call it a the Bible of Clean Code. That's definitely uh, a good read uh, and well worth the time. All right, so we're gonna jump away from code a little bit. Here's book number five. This book is called Soft Skills. So Soft Skills, the software developers, so, so it's called Soft Skills, the software developers life manual. It's written by John Z. Sonmez, Sonmez, I may have got that name wrong, hope not. Forged by Scott Huntelman and Bob Martin, what do you know? So soft skills is really, um, a, well, it's, it's about soft skills. So it goes in depth on the uh, different aspects of being a software engineer other than just uh, coding and designing and architecture. It goes over some of the challenges you may find in communication how to handle those challenges. It goes over something that's very important uh, that every new engineer should learn as they become an engineer. And that's how to basically sell their work and sell themselves. It goes over how to create a brand for themselves to make sure that the, 
their work is well known, that people see what they do, their hard work, and they can excel in their career. It goes over many different things uh, around soft skills and how to uh, do certain things in a professional manner and excel at your career. Uh, this is another one I've read in the past that I enjoyed. It's also, uh, I'm, a, I'm a very technical person. I'm, I'm somewhat introvert, so not, not necessarily a people person. So definitely something I have to reread every few years. Uh, one of the things I've really learned over the years, it doesn't matter what you do or how hard you work if no one, uh, if no one across your organization knows about it. So you really have to focus on your brand as an engineer. I know a lot of people who uh, focused on a brand and really didn't do much else as far as doing any real work. And, and they've unfortunately excelled uh, at their career. So it, it is important. You don't want to do that, uh, but you do want to uh, learn how to sell yourself, focus on your brand, and show off the hard work and your good work ethics that you do. So definitely a must read, especially if you're introvert, not a people person. Highly recommend it. All right, so number six. Now these books, uh, one through six, I would go so far as to say most engineers should read them or read something very similar throughout their career. It's definitely something that's going to help them. And these books uh, are not a waste of money in the sense of they don't they don't change over time. They're concepts that apply to no matter what type of programming you do with uh, or where you're working these books will help you excel as an engineer. It's not tied to a particular language or particular uh, domain type of business. So again, I highly recommend them. This is called, uh, it's another Bob Martin book. It's another one of those books that's almost like a particular Bible uh, in software engineering. It's called Agile Software Development Principles, Patterns, and Principles. Again, it's by this one is by Bob Martin and contributions by James W. Newick and Robert C. Robert S. Haas. So this is one of my favorites. Um, it covers things such as the solid principles, uh, creating good object-oriented code. Uh, keep in mind, this is if you are in, uh, this is if you are programming in the object-oriented paradigm. Um, this book will be very helpful for you. Of course, there are some uh, uh, industries. There, I mean, there are some uh, industries or departments or types of programming that maybe object-oriented programming doesn't fit. Um, this book may not be so helpful for that, but I would go so far to say, actually, it probably would. It would be helpful for that too. Uh, for example, SOLID principles. SOLID is basically an acronym. The first letter in uh, SOLID is S, which stands for single responsibility. Is single responsibility something you need in object-oriented programming? Absolutely. Is it something you need in functional programming? Absolutely. So it does extend across different domains, but it is kind of focused on object-oriented programming. Now it's called Agile Software Development Principles and Patterns, Principles, Patterns, and Practices. It does go over the Agile Manifesto. Uh, it does cover um, certain concepts such as extreme programming, uh, UML, uh, but for the most part, the meat of it uh, is really about object-oriented programming, the solid principles, uh, and different case studies giving you examples of why you want to do a certain thing and program a certain way. So if you're into object-oriented programming, you want to learn the paradigm to at least discover why people do promote it and, and why it is successful in certain cases. Um, I believe that object-oriented programming can be the right tool for the right job, just like functional programming can be the tool for the right job, depends on what you're programming. Uh, if you want to understand those concepts, understand object-oriented programming, this is definitely one of the great books to read. So those are the six books that I would definitely recommend uh, for every engineer to read, especially if you're someone who is self-taught. Uh, the reason I would say that is because I, I am self-taught and some of the concepts and, and ideas in these particular books were something that I didn't uh, catch on to right at first in my early years and it kind of hurt me at first and then eventually you know I realized this is my weak areas this is where I need to grow and learn 
uh, make up for the lack of that more formal education. And this helped a great, these books helped a great deal with that, along with, of course, just getting the experience. So uh, again, if I was a manager or your manager, you probably wouldn't, if you don't like these books, you probably wouldn't like me because I'd probably make you read them. <laughs> I really think that they are the type of uh, books that every engineer should read at least once, at least understand the concepts and terms. That's it for the, for a list of books today. I definitely have others that I think are, are, are really good reads. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, hey, leave me a message below. I'll get back to you. Hey, if you enjoyed it, definitely check these books out. If you have any questions about them, uh, uh, what any, any questions around what's covered in them, uh, shoot me a message below. I hope you liked the message today. Uh, if you did, click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Our goal at Coding Zoo is to help others like yourself learn how to program. So definitely help us spread the word. I appreciate you watching the video today. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time.